Yeah, morning everybody. Uh, it's Saturday morning. Sun's out, but uh, we had a frost uh, when I woke up this morning. That's now gone, or as good as. So I thought I'd come outside and do a couple of jobs out here this morning. Because I'm not here uh, for quite long periods, sometimes two months at a time, uh, obviously security is uh, a concern. Don't have a lot of problems around here at all, but uh, you know, you, if anybody broke in or got in and became a squatter, it's a heck of a job to get them out as it is in most places. So what I decided to do is to fix uh, a bolt mechanism up here. The shutter, you, you know, you could break into that quite easily, but the difficulty then is getting through this stable door. Um, we've got the lock on this side, which is quite a heavy duty lock. The bottom can't be opened unless the top can be opened so if i can stop this top from being opened uh, even with a glass window here they wouldn't be able to reach the bolts um that is you know a big problem out of the way so i'm going to fix this bolt up here and um, with a padlock i'm going to actually fit it into the frame of the door uh so hopefully that will make it nice and secure and uh, one less thing to worry about so let's get started <clears throat> just want to uh, just drill a couple of starter holes um, and screw this in. It then has some bolts that go in there that don't have a head on this side, so uh, yeah, it should be almost impossible to open. Nothing's impossible, but it would make a, a big problem for them.
well, there's always a problem. Um, the bolts that come through are about a quarter of an inch too short. Uh, so I can't get them to come through and then tighten the nut on from this side. But so what I'm going to do is I'll just drill a bigger hole on this side for about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, half an inch uh, for the bolt to fit in and then fasten it up that way. And hopefully that's the problem solved. It's all something. Nothing ever goes to plan. Okay, let's get on with it. That didn't take too long, a bit of messing around as always, nothing goes to plan. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that bolt now goes into the uh, outer frame and also into the inner frame, right up to the wall on the inside, which is set back about an inch uh, more than this is. So it's very secure. As I say, this uh, handle has a big bolt behind it. The bottom can't be open without the top being uh, open. So. Yeah, they would need a battery and ram to get in there. And to be honest, I haven't got anything in there worth the cost of a battery and ram, so I wouldn't bother. But uh, yeah, 
pleased how that went. Okay, time for a coffee to warm up a bit and then on with the next job. Right, uh, I wonder who sells battery in rams. Well, it's always a messy job. So uh, the reason I've cut those uh, lats up is I'm going to make a frame on this wall and then I can fix the plasterboard to it and then do the panelling. Uh, it's a little bit out of sync of the order of things I was hoping to do, but uh, I've, got the, I've got the lats, I've got the plasterboard, so I might as well get on with it. Once I've panelled it out and everything, I won't paint it, I'll leave it. We're still to decide on the exact colour yet. We know roughly what we're after. So I won't paint it, I'll just leave it uh, panelled and finished and then come back to that later. So uh, yeah, make a big difference to this wall. I was going to dob and dab it and stick the board on here, but personally I just prefer to have a, a good solid wooden frame uh, to fix the board to. So uh, yeah, let's make a start. Talk to you in a while.
Thank you. 